Hello YouTube, this is PSB Slim Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to install Windows 10. And uh, if you guys didn't look at my previous video, I'll show you guys how to download Windows 10 from the official Microsoft website. And uh, and uh, in that software that Microsoft, um, when you download the software, it's going to ask you whether you want the ISO file of Windows 10 either in a USB like me or in a CD. It's totally up to you, but I prefer USB because it will be a lot faster in booting up and installing the actual operating system than in the CD. So yeah, uh, so this video is going to show you how to install Windows 10. Uh, keep in mind that um, you guys are going to have either a computer or a laptop that already has the operating system, whether it's Windows 8 or Windows 7. And by installing Windows 10, uh, you're permanently staying at Windows 10 if you don't have your recovery disk or another uh, operating system disk. So keep that in mind. So if you really want Windows 10 and you do not have a recovery partition for your old operating system, uh, you're pretty much stuck with Windows 10 unless you take it to someone. But if you guys just want to test Windows 10, you can always create a partition while we're in the setup of installing Windows 10. So uh, yeah, so since I have a USB, uh, I'm just gonna be going. I'm gonna go ahead and connect my USB to uh, my laptop here. Let me focus for you guys. That way, the video will be a little bit more clear. I have it connected right here. And if you and if you guys have a laptop, I suggest you guys to connect your charger because it uh because you don't want want it to run out of battery while it's installing the operating system. Then it's gonna corrupt your hard drive and you need to restart all these steps all over again. So yeah. So uh, I'm just gonna power on my computer and I'm gonna. And I'm going to press F2 to go into the BIOS. In your case, it could be different because there's a lot of motherboards out there, a lot of computers that have different ways to go to the BIOS, whether it's pressing escape, F2, or delete. Those are usually the main keys. So uh, in the BIOS, like we're right here, here, let me put the camera a little bit up. We're going to be switching the boot order. That way, we'll have, we'll have the computer booting up from the USB first instead of the actual hard drive. So we're going to go to the tab that says boot. So we're going to use the arrow keys to move to the boot tab. And I already have it uh, configured to to my, to uh, to the USB. So it says here in the bottom, uh, where is it, where is it? Oh, right, it says right here, press, press up and down the arrow, not the arrow keys, F. Press F6 and F5 to move up and down the, the, the boot up list. list. So uh, in your case, it's going to be different. Uh, whatever it tells you right here, you follow that order. And uh, for me, I already moved uh, my USB up, which it's already detecting it, generic flash disk. So I could just go uh, to exit, and I want to exit the saving changes. So uh, I'm going to save the changes. And it's booting up again. And now it's actually booting up into the actual Windows 10 that I have here. Because right now I have a hard drive. I remove my operating system hard drive, which has Windows 7, at, and I install a clean hard drive. So uh, I don't have to worry about um, installing Windows 10 on, a, uh, on my previous operating system. I just want to test Windows 10. So uh, as you can see, it's um, moving to this. So it's going to tell you uh language to install english uh english us or whatever region you're in you could just click next i'm gonna click install now and at one point of the one point of the installation right at the beginning it's going to ask you to enter the product key uh right now i don't have a product key so i'm just going to skip this step there's a skip option right there you just want to click on it And right here, you just want to click um, I accept the license terms. I always do that and then click next. It may freeze a little bit right there, but it doesn't matter. Now, here's the part I was talking about the partition. <clears throat> if you actually have, I'm pretty sure a lot of you are already going to have a Windows, either Windows 7 or Windows 8. Uh, and you and you for sure you want to install Windows 10, you could just go ahead and click upgrade. But for me, since this is a clean hard drive, or for the people that want to um, create a separate partition just to test Windows 10, you could just uh, click custom install. This is the one I'm going to since I have a clean hard drive. I'm going to click right here. And um, currently, I cannot, I don't know why it doesn't give me, um, it doesn't give me the option to extend the hard drive or to create a new partition. So I won't be able to. Uh, 
teach you guys uh, to create a separate partition and boot up Windows 10 separately. But I have another tutorial. I'm going to have the annotation somewhere around this video. And it will show you on how to uh, create a partition. That way you'll be able to uh, have another operating system. But it looks like in this case, I might have to uh, actually install Windows 10 on this clean hard drive. So I'm sorry for the people that actually um, have a Windows, either have Windows 7 or Windows 8 and want to actually fully upgrade to Windows 10. I'm sorry, but I won't be able to teach you on how to create a separate partition and boot both operating systems up. I have a separate video which will totally help you guys. So yeah, I'm not going to get into any details about that. But anyways, moving on to Windows, installing Windows 10. So I'm just going to choose the hard drive, which is the only hard drive I have here, and I'm going to click Next. And now we're going to have to wait. So I'm going to either cut this video or speed forward. So yeah, I'll be back. All right, guys, the computer is going to be restarting at this point. Whenever you hit your manufacturer's page, you just want to press, you want to go into the BIOS, like right now I'm pressing F2 to go into my BIOS. And hold up, let me back up a little bit. Now we're going to be changing the boot order again. Instead of booting it from our USB like we did before, this time we actually want to boot it up to the actual hard drive. So I'm going to use my F5 and F6, just like I said, to, uh, to move my, my Western Digital hard drive back to first place, which is going to boot up first. So I already did that right there. And I'm just going to scroll all the way where it says exit. And I'm going to exit saving the changes. <clears throat> so at this point, the computer should be able to boot up at Windows 10. As you can see there, it's no longer booting from, a, from the USB because we switched the order. So now it's actually booting up into the actual operating system. So I'm just going to speed forward through this video. Now the computer should reboot again, so just let it reboot. Now once it boots up and you actually see something on the screen like this, it's going to tell you it's time to enter the product key. Uh, you just want to click do this later right here. Now it's going to tell you to connect to the Wi-Fi. You can either enter your password or just uh, skip this step. I'm just going to skip the step. And I'm just going to use Express Settings for now. Now it's going to ask you to uh, create an account for the computer, so I'm just going to put uh, what test and uh, I'm just going to, I'm not even going to create a password, I'm just going to click next. Uh, if you see the screen flashing, that means uh, I guess the operating system is trying to adjust to your screen resolution. It and now after you successfully uh, did all these steps, your computer should actually have Windows 10. And for me, this is something brand new because before I used to hate Windows 8. And now this is my actually very, very first time using Windows 10. I never had a first hand experience. So I want to see the new and improved start menu. Um, So far, I don't really like it because it looks almost the exactly same stuff as, um, as the Windows 8 start menu, but only smaller that you can actually see the desktop behind you but uh, I'm pretty sure there's a way we go to the settings I don't want to judge too much right now because this is actually my very very first time running the operating system so I'm not gonna judge or anything if I do find a way to bring it back to the old start menu like the actual settings and all that uh, I'll make another separate tutorial um, and yeah guys so if you guys are wondering why my screen is so big it's because it probably didn't um, get the resolution all right, guys. Sorry for that. I didn't know what I was doing since this is Windows 10. Apparently, to switch the the resolution for here, you want to go to Start. You want to go to Settings. You want to go to System and Display Notifications, Apps, Power, whatever. You want to go right here where it says Display the tab right there. You want to just go down. You want to go to Advanced Display Settings, and right here, mine says mine says 1,366 times 768 so i'm just going to choose that one and I'm gonna click apply so now the resolution should be very very good very very fine like how it should be so yeah this is how it actually supposed to be so yeah guys uh windows 10 is a very very different but i'll see if i if i upgrade but right now this is just a tutorial how to install windows 10 so again guys please give this video a, a like Please comment on what you think and please subscribe to uh, support me guys. It really helps me a lot and it really helps me more than this video helped you. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. 
uh if you again if if you didn't know uh, if you if you don't know on uh, how to download windows 10 for free i'm gonna have an annotation right here in the middle of this video you can just click on it and it's going to show you how to download windows 10 for free from the actual microsoft official website and this video is going to help you on how to install it just like how i did right now so yeah guys Thank you so much uh, for watching this video. I'm probably going to release a video on how to downgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 7 uh, sooner or later. I just want to have time to actually explore with the actual operating system. But don't worry, guys. I'm still going to upload that video. So, guys, again, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more uh, PC tutorials. This is PSP Slimax. Bye.